So everybody, Warframe 1999 is here. They're showing off all the update stuff in game. <clears throat> Tons of free loot that you can get out there right now. So go grab out that. And there are update highlights in game. Ooh, can you believe it? They have all the loot here. They have Befriend the Hex, the new syndicate standing. Explore Halvania, new missions, okay? In order to do the new missions though, you have to have the Hex Quest available, which means you have to have uh, Duviri and Lotus Eaters done, meaning you have to have fully caught up to the main game. Ride the Devil Down, Atomic Cycles, Proto Frames, meet Site 09, okay? And, oh, look at that! Trinity and Nyx rework, as well as there is behind me, you can play the demo for Warframe 1999. <clears throat> It's just now in the Warframe, like, uh, update highlight notes, not in the Warframe console thing. So, that is a quick TLDR of the update, but today in Warframe, we are taking a look at the lovely patch notes, because guess what? These things are pretty useful. I don't think I'm going to go over every line of the patch notes. We are just going to slowly look over it, and yeah. Oh, the tech rot cache, you have to find the key. It glows blue and makes a noise. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so you kind of just, you kind of just continue on. You have a Warframe 38 update for Warframe 1999, right? There should be a picture here. I don't know what picture. It's a picture. Should be a picture. I just don't know what. So it tells you, hey, Warframe updates here. The update is titled The Hex. You can get Site 09 and a ton of other loot in general. Other than that, you have to run all the new game mode stuff. Yeah. Table of contents is this. There are quality of life changes. Cool. New cinematic quest, The Hex. Halvania, Central Mall. The Hex Syndicate. Palm 2 PC. That is the mission selection. Calendar. Romance relationship. New tile set, Halvania, Seasons, Techrot Safes, Halvania Currency, New Resources. New Enemy Faction, that should be the Skaldra and Techrot. Halvania Missions and Game Modes, Face Off. Legacite Harvest, Assassination, Hell Scrub, and Exterminate. Bounties, New Warframe, New Weapons, New Vehicles, Thomas Cycle. Arcade game, Caliber Chicks 2. New mods, they are actually pretty decent, all things considered. Uh, da, 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 Gemini skin series, Tenogen 1999, so more skins. Market editions, skins. Warframe changes, of course. Infested changes, ancient changes. Additions, changes, optimization, fixes, fixes, fixes. So that's Warframe 1999, everybody. It was a fun hour and a half quest. The issue with every Warframe uh, like quest update is I kind of, I just want more. Right? Like, you want more lore, you want more information, you just want more. So Warframe can never get their quests out fast enough for all of their lore and cutscenes and everything. So, hey. That is everything that came with this update, essentially. Quality of life changes is more weapon and Warframe slots. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Wait, new players only start from two to three Warframe slots? Yeah, new players need a lot more Warframe slots. More Warframe slots in the junctions. Master rank changes, they're revisitable, so you don't have to wait a day to fail. You just keep trying it. Thank God. Ah, oh, thank God. New Trinity and Nyx rework Forma inbox. You get some Forma in your inbox because of the rework if you've built them. There are free Unreal Tournament skins still in the game, so that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. There is a new cinematic quest, The Hex. It's pretty fun. Again, takes about an hour and a half. Prerequisites, they say, is the Lotus Eaters and Duviri Paradox. So if you aren't fully caught up in the game, you obviously can't do it, essentially, because it is the newest quest. Makes sense. Quest duration and commitment. Uh, you got a ton of just general loot. I got Cyto 9 Blueprint, Forma, Thomas Cycle, Skins... So that's pretty cool. And then you unlock all of the new area, quests, bounties, uh, vendors, etc., and so forth. And now you can riz up all of the new Warframes. Love it, hate it, meh. Note on the 1999 demo protocol skin, if you want to, you can still do it by playing the demo in here. Not too shabby. Actually, I'll make it a little smaller here. Throw it over the side. 
There we go. There we go. So, Halvania Central Mall. This is the main new hub to do bounties. You go there. It has everything. Syndicates, loot, caliber chicks too. Nice. Everything, everything, everything. The uh, Minky Brennan, Michael Brennan tribute. Right, there's everything. Cool skins right there. Not too shabby. All things considered. All things considered. New Hex Faction. Syndicate. Cool. Quincy Isaac. He is a cool guy. This is where you get all of the new loot from all of the new characters, right? So Quincy has just a lot of loot and everyone else does too. So if you need it, go grab it. Arthur Nightingales for Hex Rank. These are the ranks. I think you can do the finale Hex quest once you unlock rank five for the syndicates, which is pretty nice. We have Owie. Nice. Other Warframe 1999 stuff. We have Eleanor Nightingale, right? So new arcanes, everything, all of her upgrades there. Ton of new arcanes. If any of you think these are amazing, let me know. But a lot of them are really cool, right? Ability strength, ability efficiency. We got a lot of upgrades here. <clears throat> so we'll see how they end up going. So that's where you can get a lot of arcanes if you don't unlock a lot of them by running the missions. We have Letty here. So she is where you hand in your syndicate standing items. Pretty simply, you just go to Letty, give her the items, you get standing. Easy, simple. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Swizzles, swizzles, swizzles. Then continuing on, we have Amir Beckett. He's the one that sells everything, like uh, weapons, Cyto 9, Warframes. He just sells a lot of stuff too. So yeah, AX52. Look at all those weapons. Ooh, caliber chicks, two glyphs. So nice. Yeah, we're not going over the quest. We already did it after all. Palm 2 PC. This is the Palm 2 PC. You can uh, use it to access quests and stuff or like upgrade stuff. Yeah, because it's like calendar, romance, Hulvania mission selection. Pretty cool. You can also access stuff better through your orbiter here because this is like the default area. When you have actions to complete, it'll give you a little exclamation mark. You can riz up all of the Warframes every day. This is the new mission map. This is just where you like see everything. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Exterminate, survival, some handful of like newish game modes, rescue as well. So cool stuff, right? <clears throat> Legacite, harvest, assassination, hell, scrub, exterminate, face off. Not bad. Yeah, there has to be a sev uh, second update with like Technocyte Coda next month or the month after. There is a 1999 calendar, which is like buffs and loot. It is essentially do objectives, get loot, and it resets every week or two. I think it's going to be every week, but we'll see. Yeah, every week. This is a new weekly. It'll drop arcanes. Uh, you can get some archon shards and it gives you buffs as well. So it's pretty cool. So there is a seasonal cycle. And the seasons will follow real world dates. Each season has three months of uh, weeklies to do. And yeah, so every week the seasons swap out. Winter, spring, summer, autumn. Okay. Cool. And that's how you progress it. You just do the quest it asks you to do. The first one for me was <sighs> kill 10 Exmas units. Kill 10 Exmas units, got some upgrades, right? <clears throat> Pretty cool. Then you just keep doing that every day. And then that's the months up here. Can jump between them. Those are all your to-dos. They're just legitimately quests, bounties, right? And then you choose loot. Arcane or melee arcane adapter. Yeah, resets every week. Ton of arcanes. <clears throat> Base archon shards. Eggsless adapters, formas, catalyst reactors, rivens. Sweet. New Halvania resources, haulers. Following hex treasures, these are like uh, syndicate standing items. That's it. Oh, three day affinity mod drop resource chance booster. You can get some of those in the calendar. Heck yeah, Va Kuva, Vosfer, and Endo. Okay, okay. The 1999 quest takes about an hour and a half that you're locked in. <clears throat> you're not locked into a certain Warframe the whole time, but most of the time because it is quest based. So yeah, keep that in mind. Hex overrides, they're like little buffs, right? Add status damage to electricity chance to all weapons. Cool. You can, yeah, swap them. That's where you can see where they are. Or like you can uh, choose between them. That's where you can see where they are. 
Not bad. You have Hex Birthdays, and that's where you can uh, get a message and riz up one of the Warframes. Learn more about Chemistry and Romance System as a whole in the dedicated section. Yeah, that's right. Every day in Warframe, you can talk to Warframe uh, proto frames and you can riz them up. It's kind of like a visual novel. You just text them. It gets you relationship standing. You can also gift them items. Gift them items that you they like so they'll be happy. One gift per day per hex member. Okay. Oh, gifts are delivered instantly. Don't have to wait one to two days to see a chemistry increase. Cool. There are also bounties that you can gain chemistry from each Warframe if you do their bounty once per day. And that's just kind of the relationship system. Yeah, you're only locked in for Warframe 1999 like quest because that's just kind of like how it goes, right? And then you also have opportunities to use your own frame at certain points. So yeah, it's just during the quest. Only ever during like the Warframe quest, luckily, are you locked in, so you're good. It luckily also doesn't take too long, so would recommend everyone check it out. Good dog. There are those daily bounties, they get good loot. Oh, the chemistry relationships are as follows. Neutral, friendly, liked, trusted, close and best friend slash loved, depending on relationship status. If you make out with the Warframe proto frames, they also move into your apartment that you get when you uh, play the new update. That's right, there's a new apartment. That's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, the whole relationship shenanigans. Or you can just ignore the shenanigans. So the TLDR gifting once per day, chatting on Kim once per day, and then bounties once per day. So you can just like get relationships with them. Cool. <clears throat> and that's that. You can get loot, dating. Ooh, once you date them, you date them, okay. Day, you can date one at a time. You have to break up with them though. So yeah, you might have like breakup cutscenes. Smoochin. Oh no. You can kiss a Warframe once per calendar year, which is like once a month every four weeks, right? So they'll say the first opportunity for a kiss will occur January 12th, 2025. And yeah, they're starting over. And then, uh, yeah, and then if you need to start over, you do the like the wipe, the start over wipe. It doesn't affect your standing or like loot or anything. Just the, I think, uh, relationship if you need it. But good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, you can decorate the apartment. New style sets, seasons for Halvania. Some of the pictures are broken, sadly, but looks good. Tekrot safes, these are around the Zeramit or the new area. And you just have to find a key for it. They're blue and they make a noise. And then you get loot. So yeah, all new resources, get any of that, playing the game. New enemy factions, Skaldra, think of them like Poison Grenier, to be honest. Bunch of new enemies. Pew 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 pew. Cool little loot. Techrot, next enemy. Think of them like a uh, technology infested, right? Techrot. Bunch of new enemies there. Techrot, babu, baba, baba, baba. Halvania missions and game modes, right? The five we talked about earlier. Or, yeah, five. There's also Steel Path. I haven't unlocked it yet. Still doing everything. We have Steel Path 1999 emotes. Fucking pizza. It's pizza time. Oh, oh. It's pizza time. I'm having pizza tonight. It's goddamn pizza time. Uh, the Steel Path 1999 trophy. Goddamn pizza time. Heck yeah. We'll unlock Steel Path. Face off the new PvPVE game mode. The TLDR is you do a PvE mission. You do three of them. And you have to do it faster than the other team that are doing the same PvE uh, e missions. And you can pick up debuffs for the enemy team and buffs for your team around the map. That's it. It's very simple. Very simple. That's it. How to play, you just run the mission. It just tells you what to do, right? It tells you what mission. There are a bunch of boosts. Here are all of them. And there are a bunch of penalties for the enemies. Here are all of them. The worst one is abilities have 10 second cooldowns for 15 seconds. Absolutely bricks, Brodia. <laughs> Damn it. So, a bunch of rewards. Voss for Steel Essence, uh, Arcane, some items. So, not bad. Oh, Steel Path is good and normal because Voss for or Arcane. The losers can also choose Vosphor or Arcane. They just get less choices. So they just get like less Vosphor or Steel Essence, essentially. 
No, just less philosopher. Cool. You get good loot no matter what, actually. You get a guaranteed arcane. Uh, I would say that's pretty good. Rotation reward is as follows. Oh, nice. You get first objective, second objective, Neo Axie, Meso Neo rewards. So you get you get relics. You get Conclave standing. Look at that. You get Conclave standing. Yeah, 3,000 on Steel Path, 2,000 on Normal. Not bad, not bad. Legacite Harvest, uh, it's just like an endless moving, I guess, boss. It literally kind of is just a, uh, you protect thing, you fight boss. That's it. It's very easy. It's very self-explanatory as well. Oh, the new tank boss is also cool. Shoot all of its uh, little circles and then use the energy sword to kill it easily. Shoot its weak points, then kill it with your energy sword. If not, I think you eventually might get a rocket launcher to kill it. But it's a fun uh, tank mission. So that's the new assassination boss. Oh. There's a new hacking mini game. Move the worm coda to survive and like get loot. Oh, cool. So you have to move around and get all that stuff. Cool, 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 cool. New endless game mode. It's pretty easy. Is this one? I might not have actually played this one yet. Oh, this is the survival one. Ooh. Yeah, it's a survival and then the tech rod can take over the survival point for uh, air. So make sure you just kill it. It's actually not that bad. Not bad. Good rewards, mods. Relics, you know, usual stuff. Weapon and components. There's a new exterminate. It's self-explanatory. It's exterminate and exterminate. Blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of loot here. Nice. So, yeah, grab any of that and play the game. Here are all the Halvania bounties. They're just regular bounties, the same as all the other open worlds. You get loot. This is all the loot. Weapon, Saito 9, stuff like that. It's good. New Warframe, Saito 9, strong. Complete the mission to get his main blueprint and then farm out the rest of his blueprints via bounties or you buy them with standing in a handful of days if you can. So it's pretty easy to acquire them. Right? Not bad. Prex card. Oh, his Prex card is in the hex area. Okay, we'll have to find him. You can get another loadout slot. Two new weapons, Reconifix Vesper, and that's it. I, I know. Most of the new weapons, there's my dog, is supposed to come with the Technocyte Coda coming next month or next next month. January or February. Sucks. I know. Sucks. It is what it is. New vehicle, a Thomas Cycle. Cool, 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 cool. Thomas Cycle is very nice. Cool, 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 cool. It has controls. Bind it to your gear wheel to use it in open worlds once you complete the quest. It has abilities. You can go invisible once you shoot it off. Meh. It has customization. Customize the colors on it. There is an arcade game, Caliber Chips, find it in near a mirror, okay? How to play game mechanics. It's like Contra, you just jump around, shoot. A bunch of move mechanics. Yep. Not going over that. There's also a leaderboard. If you're topping the leaderboard, good job. Uh, may maybe we'll goof around in that. Ton of new mods, right? Weak point damage. I see they're like learning more from uh, the first Descendant, because I know first Descendant had a bajillion weak point things. Now Warframe's starting to add more weak point stuff to the game, so that's cool. <clears throat> damage, weak point, magazine, damage, fire rate, crit, magnetic, radiation, crit, so I, like cool stuff. New Gemini skin series. They're all nice skins, but they're just like skins. So proto frame skins, they work on primes and they work on base Warframes, so. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's too late to get the free nicks. You can still farm the free nicks in game through the alerts though. So, yep. Six new Gemini skins for the six new proto frames. Uh, 1200 platinum in the market together, 275 individually. So, yeah. And you can customize them, use Gemini Emo, Tenogen 1999, right? Like pretty cool stuff. Market editions, 1999 uh, Saito 9 Straight Shot Bundle. So more stuff there. Gemini Packed Collection. That's just the Gemini skins, right? And then there's like Drifter Operator skins. Drip. Cool. More fashion. Hex Floofs. All of the floofs for the Hex Faction. Caliber Chick Collection. It's like hair and skin stuff for your operator drifter. Okay. We have Intradi community display. Not bad. Looks pretty cute. And it moves like when you look around it. So yeah, it has like two backgrounds. Oh, 
Not bad. I saved Major Sulka. Other may have killed her. We'll have to see. Warframe changes to Nyx and Trinity. We know went over those all of these before, but the TLDR is they're just a lot better. Nyx is more usable and Trinity is more usable in general. I'm not going over the full kit change, so go over the old videos if you're curious. And try them out in-game, more importantly. But you still like AoE, heal, energy regen, shield regen. You stun CC enemies with Trinity, right? Still link to everyone. A little harder to die when you're linked to everyone, right? Yeah. So it all kind of works the same. Either way, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Nyx still works pretty well. Mind control does a lot of damage, as you can see. Get an AoE crit chance uh, buff per confused enemy. So get a lot of damage, right? Mind control works pretty well. More damage, right? It's just been upgraded. Maybe I'll go over them individually. Video, maybe make a quick goofy build in a couple days. But yeah, Mind Freak. Second ability, Psychic Bolts, Armor, Overshield, right? Steel, not bad. It's a defensive ability now. Ability 3, Chaos. Just uh, Chaos applies radiation stacks. AoE means Chaos enemies now deal more damage to your enemies. So just more damage on enemies. Then your fourth ability, Absorb. Absorb damage, 5,000. AoE damage it. Yeah, you can fly around everywhere now. Quick TLDR. Quick TLDR. And then Simulate Augment. Yeah. Infested Ancient Changes. Uh, they're less annoying, I guess. More annoying. Place Toxic Roar ability with Toxic Flail. Delivers guaranteed Toxic proc. Remove their Toxic Aura. <clears throat> cool. Same idea with Ancient Disruptors. Removed Aura. Gave them an attack that gives Magnetic procs. Cool. Ancient Healers. Removed ability to give Overgrowth to allies. Update Healing Pulse ability to scale better to higher levels. Other stuff too. Cool, cool, cool. Add new curses for uh, Warframe 1999. Small changes, fixes, slow motion, game speed stuff. Okay. More fixes, changes, optimization. Fixes, 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 fixes. So, that is the entirety of the Warframe 1999 update, TLDR. Well, it is a lot of stuff. It's also not like an, not a ton of stuff. It's very comparable to any other update like Xermin or Warframe uh, Whispers in the Wall. It's that type update. It's another Warframe open world with a cool hour and a half quest with more standing and syndicate stuff to do in farm. And this time it just, it has more side content which people might hate or might like with like game modes, side game modes, arcade games, uh, romance system. So it has a lot of side stuff to do in weeklies and yeah, either way, well, who knows, who knows, let me know what you think, sub, like, use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker if you want to support the channel, because I do have an Epic Games Creator Code, and yeah, if you like the changes or like the update or hate the update, let me know. Yeah, a lot of people thought you might get some, any, like, any hex skins for free, but it's like, no, no, they're Warframe skins, so they cost money. Either way, good update, good splash art, look at that. Arthur, Owie, Eleanor with her cool eyes, Quincy, Volt, Amir, right? Letty. Ha. Ah, good update. 